Hi, this is Mike Ayton from Pro Tools Expert, and we're here today to have a, a little look through Source Live Pro 3. Now, probably a lot of you are wondering, just what is this software and what, what's it going to do for me? Well, actually, this is quite a revolutionary piece of software, I think. And what this is going to do is for anyone who works at home with remote clients, it really is, I think, going to change your world. A lot of people promise this and, uh, you know, we've all heard this sort of epoch changing software quote before, but I really do genuinely think this could be it. Now, what is it and what it, what's it going to do for you? Well, if you remotely collaborate with any of your clients in, in the past, if you worked a picture, you've always had to do your mix or whatever you're doing within Pro Tools and then bounce out a QuickTime movie and then upload the QuickTime movie to a file, send a link to the client, the client then has to download the movie, watch it, email you back the changes. That's the, the process we've all known and loved for time. And it's slow, it's not very efficient time-wise, but it works. But what this software, Source Live Pro 3 does is this is streaming software that allows you to, to not have to go through that entire workflow. So if you're working with picture in, in Pro Tools, you can actually transmit your picture to your client and your audio mix in extremely high quality audio and with very high quality video. But the geniuses, Source Elements, have managed to work out, and I don't know how they've done this, it's voodoo, they've managed to work out how to do this in sync. So let's dive in and have a quick look. Now, I've got a Pro Tools session in front of me and we've got a, a video test file on it, which is uh, 1080p DNX HD QuickTime. And it's a session with just white flashes that occur every two seconds and a sync blip at the same time. So we have one video track and we have an audio track here. And on, on the audio track, we've placed a plugin that comes with the software called Source Link. Here it is. Now, all this plugin does is send the audio off to Source Live Pro. It's just literally a way of getting audio from one piece of software to another. So, here, what we can do with this plugin is we can pass the audio through. Here we go. And I'll just, if I bring up the video window as well and hit play, you'll see it. Okay, that's enough of that. Thank you very much. Now, I'm actually using desktop video here. And my video settings, we'll have a quick look at, are nothing because I'm using desktop video, no peripheral at all. And I'm not locked to any video reference at all. That should be on internal. There we go. So we're just internally clocking from the uh, Pro Tools HDX card. Okay, so let's have a look at Source Live Pro. So if I whiz over here, now it's a piece of software that you can either have licensed to your computer or you can uh, have it on an iLock. I happen to have an iLock authorization for this particular version. Here we go. And we log in with my username. Here we go. And my password. Voila. The first thing you'll see if, if we have a little look round is my desktop here. So that's what we're looking at. It's actually my Raven screen. What we can do along here is we can choose what our audio source is going to be. Now I'm going to choose here. You can see we can use all the, the usual suspects here. I'm going to choose link. So now the source live piece of standalone software here is actually receiving audio from Pro Tools. And what I'll do is take this out of through mode. So if you look here, and what we'll do is route, that's routed to stereo monitors, but because it's not coming through the plugin, we won't hear it at all. So there we go, there's the flash, no beep. But if we have a look over at Source Live, we can see the beeps getting into Source Live. Okay. Stop Pro Tools, there we go, and back to Source Live. So, 
uh, if we have a little look here, we can change the quality level. Now it's 320 kilobits a second, which is way better than ISDN. We're at 48K because I'm running video. We've got uh, a channel width is stereo. And what's unique about this software compared to any other software that streams audio and video is one of several things. Number one is this thing here, audio delay. So Source Elements have realized that a lot of people who work in pictures have their audio and video coming from different sources. So uh, there may be a synchronization delay or, or, or whatever, that, but they have allowed you the mechanism. You can put positive or negative uh, delay in there for the audio, so you can advance the audio relative to the picture. I've chosen to have no delay. I don't need a delay. I've got no delay on my desktop video, so I don't need a delay getting the audio into the software. So let's have a look at the along here. We can title our stream. So if I call it the name of my studio, Microphonics, there we go. And if I've set up my router correctly, I'll just do a quick port test. There we go. That's all working. Everything's super duper. And I can password protect the stream if I want to, and that's super secure. And it uses a system of tokens so that any of you who've got uh, sensitive pictures uh, needn't worry about anyone being able to randomly get into your stream. You can very seriously be confident that no one's going to be breaking into your stream here. So here you can check to see when you've got any listeners online. And you can also dis choose to disconnect listeners. You can invite listeners from this tab here. And you can see who's on, how long they've been connected, and what IP address they're on, importantly, which can give you a clue as to where they are as well. Here's your audio we've already been through. And then there's the all-important video settings here. I'm choosing to select my entire screen, my entire desktop on the Raven here. This is the maximum quality level, 1280 by 720 which is virtually full HD, and I'm running PAL video at 25 frames per second. There's also an option here to create mouse clicks if you're doing a presentation and you need to show people what you're doing. I'm not choosing to do that. Now, so we can see here I'm signed in, there's me, and here we can go web link. So what that's done is copied the web link of my gateway into the clipboard. Now this is clever, so if we whiz off now, and we were to go off to Mike Thornton, for instance, and say, here's an email I've pre-made up. There we go. That sends Mike Thornton my link. And in a moment, he'll be able to connect in and join our stream. Now, before he does join the stream, what I need to do is start the stream. So we press the start button. Here we go. The stream has now started. You'll see here a little CPU meter, which shows the activity of your CPU. So if your CPU's under too much pressure, uh, having problems, you'll see it get go up and up and up here. And the problem, whether it's a problem or not, you see red flashing here to tell you you're transmitting. That's all we need to know. We've checked audio is getting in. Thank you. We're very happy with that. So now what we can do is we can pop that up onto another window away from our display. And we'll go back into Pro Tools and then we'll bring up the video window. There we go, with Apple 9. But just before we do that, what we can also do is pop into Firefox just to show you what this looks like. And remember, the link is posted into my clipboard. So here we go. We load that. And this is the source elements gateway for my particular stream. So we log on as me. There we go. Now, there are many things. I'm not going to go through everything here. It's too complicated, uh, or we don't have enough time, really. But I just want to show you, really, what it can do and how powerful this software is. But there are options to have video chat, and you can have screen chatting whilst going along. So this is the gateway, and you can see my desktop here. And you can see now, effectively, it's doing what, what is uh, known as video how round, where it's seeing itself, and uh, therefore it's transmitting to itself. So I'm going to move that away onto another desktop. Off we go. There we go, onto another window. So now we're in a position where we're able to hit play. And what we can do is when Mike Thornton's logged on, we can then hit play and he will receive our stream. Now, when he gets our stream, it will be perfectly in sync. The only sync issues that we will have will be due to any perturbations that are due for 
uh, that happen with desktop video itself. Now that's down to Avid and how they write their desktop video. There's not much we can do to change that, but usually I've measured it, it's accurate to within less than half a frame. So you're able to do playbacks in sync to within half a frame accuracy. Your limiting factor is not your source live video and, and the synchronization of your audio and video is just how wobbly your desktop video is, which is actually pretty good. So first of all, I'm going to play some sync blips so you can see how good the sync is. Here we go. So we've seen sync. Now, let's go back into our session. Let's close the video window. There we go. And I'll swap to this second video track here where we've got an HD mockumentary that's copyright free, which we've made specially. Remember, we're going to be playing HD video down the internet in sync. So what we're going to do is we're going to show the iPhone iOS app working locally on my network inside my studio and you'll hear the audio being recorded on my DSLR uh, so you can hear it in situ and we'll also show you how good the video is for Mike Thornton in Manchester at the remote end on the browser gateway. So let's start the video, let's bring up the video window, here we go and let's have a look and now just to explain just before we do the latency i.e. how long it takes to buffer stuff and be able to send it. At the moment, it's about 10 seconds, which is absolutely minimal compared to any other webcasting or broadcasting software out there. This is pretty revolutionary and is almost real time. And, and you are able to have text and video chats with your producer whilst you are remotely playing stuff in sync to them. Now, what we're talking about is that you are actually really being able to play long form material as well as short form now to clients and they can be sitting there reviewing it with better than ISDN quality audio and almost full HD video. So let's play the video. The proof really is in the pudding. Hello and welcome to the Pro Tools Expert Gardening Show. Today we're in Twickenham to have a look at classic British autumnal gardens. I'm the voice of a gardening expert who knows all about English roses and will warn you that if you do not feed and water your roses or spray them with bug spray, they will wither and die. So best you give them good soil conditions, good bug spray and prune them regularly so that they can blossom and look super saturated as in this video example. Another plant that's quite popular in English gardens is the purple one. This purple plant goes by the name of plant with no name that's purple. It's quite popular in this particular garden and has a very pretty yellow middle. It seems to thrive. Next to it is the yellow plant. This one bathing in the autumn sunlight. It's looking very healthy. We hope you enjoyed our look at classic British autumnal gardens. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. So there we go. As you can see, it's uh, pretty exemplary at the other end and sync is very tight. So to sum up, what do we have? We have software that stand alone at the moment running on Mac OS X that allows you to be able to look at your desktop. I'm going to pause the stream now and you can either set the entire screen or a crop and you can be sending your desktop and if your remote end does not have good quality internet you can drop the size and the quality therefore of what you're sending them so it's just less pixels it works out all this for you and will take your HD full screen and it will interpolate it down and do all the processing for you it's very clever it works very well and it's out now in public beta and I don't know how to sing this software's praises any higher. It really is it's something that I'd only ever dreamed about, it's being able to play stuff in sync. I mean, this is what YouTube and Vimeo can't do, which is send audio and video in sync on the internet and guarantee it, it works. So 
This has been a really easy thing for me to be able to award an, uh, an editor's choice award. I think it's fantastic software. It is going to change the way we all work. And with the cottagization of the industry and the way we're all working remotely, Avid, stand up, pay attention, notice this. This really is groundbreaking software. And for anyone who's working with clients remotely on the internet, this, I think, is probably one of the pound-for-pound pound best investments you can make in software. It's a lot of fun, and I think you're all going to really enjoy it. I've, I hope you've enjoyed this quick scamp round, and I hope the concept has been very clear to you. See you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.